Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Just pulling myself together. Um, hi. I have, I'm even talking to you before I've even had a sip of my first coffee. <sighs> How are we all today? Long time, well, yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since I've uploaded an, a video. And, um, yeah, life is life is just hectic right now as you all know and you're all so lovely and so supportive and I'm so grateful thank you so much for all your lovely messages um it's just yeah it's just been very hectic at the moment and my grandmother is still with us she um is being taken to a like a nursing home now so um yeah because she can't stay in hospital forever but yeah she's still with us it's just very up and down and obviously with working and just being at home and it's just been very hectic and i haven't really had the mental capacity to pick up my camera and film however today uh well this video might be a bit jumbled it might be a bit all over the place so today in this section of this video um, we are decorating our bedroom I say we I'm painting the bedroom um, this is why I washed one of the rollers so <clears throat> which you saw me do earlier and yes we the bedroom is more is like a it's like a um, neutral colour at the moment and it, there was just always something about it that I was just kind of like, it's nice, it's relaxing, but there's just something missing. So our old bedroom was blue. I really, 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 do you want to come and say hello? Do you want to come and say hello to your friends? Come here. There. Hello from Arthi, the naughty kitten I think even when he becomes an old man he'll still be a kitten wait you you cheeky so gorgeous he's waiting to go upstairs waiting for me to come upstairs aren't you you don't want that that's coffee you don't want that good boy um <laughs> he just kind of put me off yeah our bedroom in our, our, our old house was blue, which I painted blue, like a really light um, pale blue, which was so lovely. And yeah, I'm doing the same here, this house. Let me, I've got the colour. We've got two tubs and it's this colour. Mineral mist. And it's so nice. It's going to look so lovely in the bedroom. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So I thought I would pick up my camera today and bring you all along with me because that's another like new part of the house. We're also getting new furniture, well, secondhand furniture, but fairly new furniture next weekend as well. So the bedroom will have a little transformation. So that'll be great. We've also had a new uh, tap installed. I don't know if I've put this on a video before, but we got this off eBay and our lovely friend came and fitted it for us. But it's one of those like taps where you have normal faucet and you have waterfall and it pulls down and yeah, we love it. It's absolutely great. We really, really do love that. And also everyone, I'm growing. The ginger that I was growing just didn't work out. So we got rid of the ginger. But these are the pots that I've decorated. I've been talking about decorating these pots for ages. But I finally did it. <clears throat> and we've got some basil growing in here. Here we've got chives on the way. And here we have coriander. So yeah, and I'm also propagating these um, plants here. They're actually an extension from these two up here. These are devil's ivy or pothos, I think they're called. So yeah. Where I'm growing them so I can put them in our the bedroom to give it a more um, green effect because I love greenery. <clears throat> I love, love, love greenery so much. So, yeah, I'm going to get a couple of nice new pots for them and um, <clears throat> pop them. 
I've got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> I'm not sick. And also the big thing that's happening this week is it was my mum's birthday, a big birthday last week, and I surprised her and I'm taking her to London to Claridge's for afternoon tea. I won't be filming any of that day. I will probably take some photos, maybe, and pop them on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me over there, head on over to my Instagram. It's the Happy Homemaker. I'll leave my handle in the description bar below. Go and check that out so you'll see some pictures over there. And yeah, so yeah, today is sorting the bedroom out and painting how much of that I will film I don't I'm not too sure um and then I may pick up the camera on Wednesday because I'm going to go and have my nails done for Thursday and I think I'm going to book a sauna treatment and go and sit in the sauna for an hour just relax ready for London so yeah I'll bring you all along with me for that too with that being said, I'm going to go upstairs, do my morning routine, and I will see all of you lovely people back when we're ready to start the decorating process. Hello, so we're back in the bedroom now. It's so echoey in here because the chest of drawers that was here is now gone. This is where the new wardrobe is going to go in this little alcove bit. We've got a tall boy going in that corner over there and our wardrobe will be going just here just in here so yeah this is the color of the bedroom um it's i mean look it, it's fine it's perfect it's a light color it's a lovely color it's just you know i mean i've got these these my gorgeous pictures here if you want to know where any of these pictures are from let me know and i will i will reply this is the Northern Lights, this one here. This is just a forest scene here. Um, I can't tell you where this one came from because this is actually from my dad, so I don't know where that's from. Now, this is where the fireplace is. And when, when the fire obviously gets hot, this heats up. So I need to scrub this and see if this comes clean. Um, I've dusted and hoovered, but I'm gonna run the hoover around again once I've got everything out. This chest of drawers is going out, that chest of drawers is going out. Um, I'm going to take the curtains down as well uh, to make it easier. And then we're going to mask everything up, clean everything, make sure everything's all nice and tidy-ish. And then get painting. So excited. I'm really looking forward to it now. Everything is going to be crammed into the reading room and man cave, so we've just got some of the bedding stuff in here at the moment. He can stay exactly where he is, hopefully. This is the tall boy unit that's going to go in the corner next weekend. Chest of drawers, I'm not too sure what we're going to be doing with those because they're not going to fit in the bedroom again now. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure what's happening with those, whether we give them away um i might put, i might do something like that um and and sort that out so yeah anyway right now i'm going to just pack everything away take the fairy light fairy lights down take down the pictures and yeah prep <laughs> Okay everyone, everything is done, everything is masked up. I'm gonna start doing up here first. <sighs> Curtains are down, everything's been wiped down, everything's got masking tape on it. So 
we're ready to paint. How exciting. I'm a little scared. This is a very adult job that I've never been able, like, you know, qualified of doing. Now I am. So this is going to be the colour. That colour. Wait. That colour. Also, I've got a helper. Hoping he's not going to get in my way. So I'm going to set you up just here. Actually, no, 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 please don't play us. No. Right, or if I set you. If I set you. Our feet move. <laughs> there we go. That could be semi okay. We'll just see. Or. We'll see how we get on. Okay. Okay, everyone. Coat number one is done. So this has been drying for a bit now, so I'm actually going to do coat number two. But yeah, I know it looks patchy in some places, but don't worry because coat number two, it will all come through. And I'm really loving the colour. It's made the room look so much brighter and I love it. I'm in love with this colour. So yeah, I'm going to get my painting mitts on and I'm listening to an audiobook as well on my iPad. So that is really great too. So yeah, I'm going to get putting on coat number two. Hello everyone. Oh, I've got paint everywhere. Um, coat number two is on and drying as we speak. And now we have to wait and see if we need a third coat or not. So for this boring part, which is the wait time, which George would say, I agree with me, I don't like waiting, but we have to wait. So I'm going to iron all my work clothes for next week. So they're all ironed and I've had some lunch and I suppose I'm just going to sit and rest for a bit. I also want to wash my hair and actually have a wash because I've got paint everywhere, everywhere. Um, so yeah, I want to do that, but... We'll go and do some ironing first and then come back and do a third coat. I'm not filming myself painting because the tripod is just getting in the way, if I've got to be brutally honest. So, yeah, um, we'll film just putting myself, like putting things back and, you know, like the finished result sort of thing. But yeah, I hope, um, I hope this part of the video is, is good and you're enjoying it. And yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and do the ironing and then hopefully in a bit everything will be dry. And I've cleaned all the brushes and in actual fact everybody, I'm going to go and run a bath and oh, have a wash wash my hair, I'll probably do a face mask, take the paint that is all speckled across my face and have a really nice bath and then get out of the bath and I'm going to, obviously my hair will be still dead, wet but we're going to put the bedroom back together again. So put the pictures back. Um, we've done two coats. It's quite funny actually because I think the bedroom is the same colour as the kitchen unintentionally. It's a very, very, very similar colour. And I do wonder if it's the same, which is quite funny. So the kitchen is a bit of a mess right now, but we're just going to leave that to it. Also, look where Arthi is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to go and run a bath and enjoy and then we'll put the bedroom back together again.
Hello everyone, I'm at the bath now and we are just about to take all the masking tape off which I've taken some off and it is literally probably one of the most satisfying jobs I've ever done. So, I'm going to balance you guys here. So rude, how loud. And then I'm just gonna go around and take the masking tape off. Hello, Arthur. Are you helping? This is called a masking tape bath. Everybody, look how clean. That's so clean, Arthur. No, no, you can't help. No, 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 no. <sighs> right then, I am going to finish taking the masking tape off everywhere else. Um, you don't need to see me do all of that. And then we're going to put the bed back. I'm going to just clean everything up, do a quick heaver, and then put everything back together. <sighs> I love the colour so much. Okay, I'll be back. Hello everyone, it's a lot later now. It's now half past eight at night, but we finished the bedroom. We are so happy. That light is just, is just bright, so just ignore that. But yeah, we're so happy with it. It's really turned out. We've just got the new wardrobe to go here, but George built this little unit here this evening. So that's got all our bits in. They're just my pyjamas, which I'm going to get into in like two seconds. Um, but yeah, here is the... There's a new little lamp over there. It's so good. We're so, so happy with it. And I've moved... I swapped these two pictures around. So that's now there. But we're so happy with it. It's literally taken all day. But we couldn't be more happy with how it looks. With the big light on. Oh. Yeah, it'll be better to look at it during the day. We'll do that, but yeah, I'm going to go to bed now, everyone. I'm absolutely exhausted, and um, I'll catch up with you in the morning now. Good night. Good morning, everybody. Please excuse the washing machine in the background. It is so loud. Good morning, Arthi. Good morning, he's just here. Um, wow, what a day we had yesterday. I know. Uh, hold on, let me just close this door one sec. That's better. I know I didn't film too much of the decorating of the bedroom, but the tripod just would have got in the way. Um, and I got more paint on myself than I did. I did on the walls, no. But we're very, very happy with the bedroom. It just looks so great we just love the color and i will show you more when it's daylight and um everything sorted you did see it last night but the lighting obviously it was like half eight quarters to nine i was so tired everyone oh my gosh so tired but so happy at the same time and so happy that we've got it done um i've got some funny pics of arthi <laughs> Obviously, Arthi helping uh, with the um, tall boy unit, and then he loves sitting in the wardrobe. That's such a funny picture of him. <laughs> you are a funny boy. And then um, this was at the end of the night when we were finishing the tall boy. This must have been about seven, seven thirty, and he'd had enough by that point. He'd had enough, hadn't you? You wanted to go to bed. You were a tired boy too, weren't you? But yeah, we had such a great day. And then we had fish and chips for dinner, um, which was really, really nice. So yeah. So today, <clears throat> we've got a car day delivering uh, between 8 and 9. It's 10 to 7. I'm going to go upstairs and just have a really chilled morning. Again, I'm so tired today. Like, I'm exhausted. It's also Mother's Day here in the UK. And we're going to my mum's for dinner. So that'll be really nice. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and what the other thing I want to do is I want to transfer some of the, the clothes that are in the man cave into <clears throat> uh, the tall boy. I could probably do that today this morning 
and just have a general clean of the house just just to, just to tidy up basically just a little sunday reset which i probably won't film if i've got to be brutally honest because i'm so tired but i will show you what we've got in our Ocado food shop and then we'll get ready together before i go see my mum. i think i might put a face mask on this morning feeling a face mask i've got my coffee <clears throat> i've got my boy so we're ready to have a lovely day. Um, I probably won't film anything when I'm at my mum's because um, I want to spend time with her. And yeah, this is going to be a very all over the place type vlog. And my vlogs might be a bit all over the place going forwards for the foreseeable at the moment with what's going on with my grandmother. It's just, life is just not 100% normal at the moment so um yeah th again thank you so much for all of your patience and if i skip an upload or miss an upload then you know what's going on so there's just a lot going on and you know uh, which is life this is just what happens in life and um you know i'm still living my homemaker housewife dreams and i'm still really happy but it's just not quite the same at the moment so yeah, I'm going to take my coffee upstairs, I'm going to take Arthi Parthi and we're going to <laughs> and we're going to have a lovely quiet morning, transfer this footage over to my laptop, pop my um, camera on charge and then I'll be back with all of you to show you what we've got in the Ocado food shop and then we'll organise the clothes together because that'll be fun. Arthi, should we go upstairs? We'll go upstairs, it's more comfy up there, let's go upstairs. Yeah. Yeah, say good morning to all your friends. Good morning. Good morning from Mr. Arthur. Good morning. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go now. And we are back. So we've just had our Ocado food shop delivery and it came to, I believe, excluding George's drinks that he has, it came to £70 something like that so yeah it's still pretty expensive for we've got toilet roll as well which has already gone upstairs frozen veg and a few things that i needed to put in the freezer but um it is still fairly expensive in comparison to probably other supermarkets however the quality is just the quality outweighs the price if we can afford it we're gonna go for it so yeah um i did also this is extra I did also get this sleep spray, spray by the Apothecary, Apothecary, Apothecary Range M&S and honestly the bottle itself is so lovely. I can't take the lid off with one hand. No, I can't do that. But yeah, that's going to go on my bedside table and it is just so lovely. I'm really looking forward to that. So for this week we are having smoked salmon sandwiches for lunch with jason sourdough bread this is really good bread and when you look at the ingredients it is literally really good ingredients like there's like nothing artificial in there at all wheat flour oh um, wheat flour calcium carbonate iron da, 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 da. so basically i've i've read reviews that it's really really good and it is good i love it Bagel thins, bacon for George. I've got some chicken breast that I'm going to cook up tomorrow. Then we've got Kit Kats, mainly for George. I do steal one or two, but I have the dark chocolate usually. I'm also trying bananas with peanut butter because these two, two of them combined, um, are a good for source of tryptophan, which can help you to sleep. So I'm going to have those got some seasoning because I'm going to season that with the chicken. I'm also trying to look at the Mediterranean diet. So we're going to have some salads and stuff this week. Olives to go with my lunch. Kefir yogurt um, because I absolutely love this stuff and it's really, really good for your gut. So I have that every single day. Either that or kombucha. And I've actually bought these cans of kombucha to take to work with me. So I'm going to have those at work. And yeah, just some fruit and veggies. And now I've got to put it all away. Uh, yeah, so I've got to put, put it all away now. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I am will be back when we go through the clothes in the wardrobe. I'm going to grab some food. I'm not having too much food today though because we're going to mum's for lunch. So I'll probably have banana, peanut butter and a half a grapefruit actually. 
I'm really tired still. I haven't woke up yet. So, the next time you see me, we'll be organising the drawers in the bedroom. Okay, here we are. Now, you're not going to see me because I have a face mask on and it's, uh, it, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's brown, so I look weird. But this is the tall boy unit. Look how cute this is. And then when you lift this up, look, there's a mirror. We've got our jewellery in there. So cute. Love it. Um, yeah, so these are our underwear drawers. And then in here, I've got my pyjamas. And then in here, I've got George's pyjamas. That means we have two drawers left. Now, these drawers are quite deep, so we can fit quite a bit in here. However, we have quite a bit to transfer in, so that is going to be a challenge. Also, this is the bedside table, my little lamp, which is so cute, and I've got some hand cream and my room spray there, and I'm literally so loving it. Just tuck the curtain in. There. Yeah, and then this lamp is so cute because look, it just it's USB charged, so it doesn't have any cables. And then it's cute. And then if you press it and long hold, it goes brighter. It's just so cute. I love it so much. But this is also this is the room in the daylight now. So happy with it. Honestly, everyone, I love it so much. It's made such a difference to this room, I feel. Like, it just looks so much brighter, and when the wardrobe is in, it will look even better. But yeah, I love it so much. I'm so happy with it. But right, now for the task in hand, I'm going to get all the clothes from the man cave wardrobe and pop them all onto the bed, and I'm going to put an audiobook on while I do that. Okay, I am feeling very smug with myself because I've transformed this drawer into George's work from home clothes drawer. And over here in this bottom drawer is all his like gym and outdoor clothes. So I'm feeling so smug with myself. I could convert one of those drawers into clothing drawers, but it's not necessary because I don't we don't go and get clothes from over there so yes I'm so happy oh also look I put the salt lamp up here so now cute how lovely is that have a little salt lamp there anyway I need to stop organizing now because my oh my brother-in-law is coming to pick us up at half ten and it's now 22 10 so I have to go and get ready to go and spend time with my little mummy so that'll be so lovely if I do any more organizing of course I'll let you know but probably not now so yeah I've got to go and get ready so I'll see catch up with you all a bit later oh and these are some new pajamas from Primark so cute okay bye bye Everyone, Elsa, you gonna say hi? You gonna say hi? <laughs> so you'll have just seen uh, me at our local garden centre having a nice coffee and croissant. It was so delicious. Yes, Arthur, everyone can hear you. 
Um, I've got my stepdad here at the moment. He's um, fitting our new wardrobe upstairs, so that's so exciting. And then I went to the hospital with my aunt after our coffee and see my grandmother, and uh, all I can say is it's just very mentally draining. It's, a very, it's very mentally draining. I'm so tired now. Um, I have my tripod upstairs and I just can't be asked to go get it. <laughs> I'm just being a bit lazy. Um, but yeah, it's just very, very tricky. I think we're trying to find um, a stage where she can go and have like, go to somewhere where she gets more palliative care, nursing care or whatever. <sighs> it's just draining, that's all I can say about that. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I've got today. Uh, I don't have my tripod. I might just go and grab my tripod real quick. I'll go grab it and stop being lazy. Okay, we're back now. So let me show you what I've got. I've first of all got a new hand cream to go on my bedside table because new bedroom, new hand cream. <laughs> um, I, I didn't need this, but my other one is running, is getting low. So it will be nice. And um, it's Royal Botanic Kew Gardens. I'd love to go to Kew Gardens. I might tell my aunt one day that I'd love to go there, but the scent is, comes in this gorgeous packaging as well so lovely and I got lemongrass and lime hand cream and it smells so lovely and just very small luxury in life is um just some nice hand cream and I feel so grateful that I can buy this so so grateful for that but then the main thing I was after was a couple of pots we're getting some floating shelves into the bedroom and i'm going to pop these pots onto the shelves and i i'm propagating like i told you the other day two of my pothos plants so once they've they're ready to go into the soil which one of them won't be long in fact both of them won't be long then i'm going to put them in these pots and i think they'll look really lovely it just goes really well. Let me know what you think. Um, so yeah, and these were really affordable. Like these were seven pounds, seven ninety nine, and for good quality pots, I didn't think that was that bad actually. It was really good. So got these two pots. Try not to drop them. And then finally, maybe something I didn't quite need. Again, this little trinket dish. But everybody look how beautiful it is. It's so gorgeous and it will go with the bedroom. And I thought, I've got my room spray. So what I thought was hand cream, room spray. It's just those little touches that add to everything, you know? Anyway, that's all I got today. <laughs> Pop those. I've also got a coaster. This coaster will also go with the bedroom, so I'm going to put that on the bedside table as well. I'll take that upstairs. And yeah, that's everything I got from the garden centre, which was very nice. I'm now going to transfer this footage over onto my laptop, um, onto my device computer, and make some lunch. I'm going to have some lunch. It's nearly two o'clock. And rest. Well, I've got actually I've got to cook some chicken, make my green juice, so you can be with me for that. I know you've seen me make green juice a million times, but I'm going to film it again <laughs> and um, cook my chicken in the air fry. I'm going to actually do that now in this process, and then get my lunch ready for work tomorrow. So with that, let's go.
Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Oh, it's 20 to 4 and I haven't stopped. Oh. That was George's late lunch. I need to go and tell him. But yeah, I feel like I have been non-stop all day. What is on my chin? Oh, it's lipstick. <laughs> However, I have this chicken now, all ready to go, all cooked. And I thought I'd try a bit with you all, tell you what it's like. Mmm. Mmm. I know who else is going to like this. George. Mmm. That's delicious. Yum. Right. I'm going to cover that so Lord Fauntleroy doesn't eat it. That's you. And I'm going to go put my camera on charge for a bit. I'm just going to sit for a few minutes and then put everything away in the wardrobe. I've done everything. I'm ready for work tomorrow. I've done my green juice. I've done my chicken. I don't need to do anything else apart from put the, put the clothes back in the wardrobe, which is something I want to do. But I am going to go upstairs to the reading room and just sit on the sofa bed for a bit because I actually haven't properly sat down all day. I'm going to do that. And I think I'm going to have a bath tonight. Just have a soak and treat myself. So yeah, we'll be back together to go through and sort out the wardrobe shortly. And we're back, I feel a bit more rested now, although cold everybody, cold. Might have to put the heating on for a bit. Go tell George I want the heating on, <laughs> I'm chilly. So here's the wardrobe, look how cute it is. Wardrobe. Also, I totally forgot to put my camera on charge, but that's fine. So lovely, isn't it? It's so nice. It is definitely a tight squeeze in here now, but you know, George and I are not huge. It works. It's fine. It opens up like this. Oh, cute. So oh. now. We're going to fill it. I'm going to get all the clothes from the man cave and put them in here and then fill the new wardrobe. How exciting, let's go.
it is quarter to six. I've got my dinner, which I'm trying to do a Mediterranean style bowl thing. Um, and yeah, I am pooped. It's been a long old day. It's been a lovely start to the day, but it's just been a non-stop day. And on Thursday, as I mentioned, I'm going to London with mum and I really, really want to be good for that. So I don't know when this video is going to be live or going to go up on my channel. It probably, I was hoping to get it up on Sunday this coming, uh, well, th when I'm filming this, it's Monday, Monday the 11th of March. And I was hoping that I'd be able to get it up by Sunday the 16th, 17th of March, but that's not going to be the case. Hold on, I should check my settings. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be the case because I've got so much going on, lovely, lovely things, but also hectic things alongside the lovely things. And on Wednesday, I'm getting my nails done. So I might be on here to show you that, or I may, may not, I, have, I don't know yet. I might not film. In fact, I'm probably not going to film on, on Wednesday. We're going to leave it. We're going to end the video here, I think. It's been all over the place. I really wanted to get something up for you guys and share some bits and bobs. Um, but like I've mentioned, my videos might be all over the place at the moment. They might be a bit sporadic and just here, there and everywhere. And yeah, thank you again so, so much. And I'll thank to you all bef again but I want to just thank you again again um, and uh, yeah this video will hopefully go up the following weekend which will be the 23rd 24 oh my gosh almost time to plant but yeah that video will be up then or this video so you'll see it. you'll have seen it already but thank you so much for your patience like it's just so great because I really love filming my videos and I really want to continue doing it and make it a passion of mine and maybe even a little side hobby or whatever but I really love doing it but just things family comes first at the end of the day although everyone look at let me show you changing the subject completely my herbs are doing so well we've got coriander chives and basil all doing so well I've just noticed them out of the corner of my eye and they're doing so good but yeah, I'm going to go and eat my dinner, chill out for the rest of the evening, put my phone away, not look at my phone, not look at anything else, just chill out, relax, watch Sex and the City and have a nice bath and get an early night. So thank you so much for watching my videos. Again, you know I'm so grateful for all of you. So if I don't get back to your comments straight away, please know that I do read them all. I will get back to them very soon and yeah, I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.